Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another ToyHacks.com sponsored review. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please consider hitting that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously. Now, on to the decals. And the set we're looking at in this video is for Transformers Generation Selects Generation 2 Ramjet. And this decal set includes two decal sheets, one large one on foil backing, and a smaller one on vinyl. So now, without further ado, let's take a look at G2 Ramjet, both before and after Toy Hacks decals. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. In robot mode, straight out of the packaging, G2 Ramjet looks totally rad. I love the black, purple, and teal color scheme. It just pops on this figure. Now, taking a closer look at Ramjet, not a lot of paint applications. It's mainly just the colored plastic, but what he does have looks really good. He's got gold eyes right there. Moving on down, he does have silver for the knees, some teal for the shin vents, and some silver down there on the feet. One issue he has is you open up the wings here. He's got the normal G1 Decepticon insignia instead of the G2 Con logo, but I do believe Toy Hacks is going to fix that. I love the paint applications here on the blasters. With the other Seekers, it was all one solid collar. With G2 Ramjet here, I love how they have the main base of the weapon purple and then the bottom half black. Really looks like the G2 toy where that was a missile that locked into place. So that is really cool. Back of the figure, uh, he's got the nose cone hanging off the back. And that's about it. You got the big G1 Decepticon logo there on the back of the leg. So all in all, a fantastic looking figure and a great homage to the original G2 toy. But I can't wait to see what Toy Hacks does for him. So there you go, guys. One final look at G2 Ramjet in robot mode before and after. Ramjet gets quite a few new decals to help enhance his robot mode thanks to toy hacks. The first ones you're probably noticing is the new decals right there inside the shoulder pylons. I really like those. Those are a great throwback to the original G2 toy. Also, right here on the inside, he's got intakes for jet mode. Moving on down to the chest, he gets new silver decals right there for the vents and new decals right there for his ab section. New red decals on both shoulders and new black and red decals for his forearms. Moving on down to the knees, he gets new red decals right there for the center of the knee and these nice silver chrome decals on the outside. I really like how that looks. New decals there for the top of the feet and new G2 Decepticon logos on the inside of the wings. Now, if you're not a fan of G2, they include optional G1 decals as well. There's also purple accents here at the bottom of the wing that you'll notice here in robot mode and the back of the wing for jet mode. So there you go, guys. G2 Ramjet in robot mode after. In jet mode, straight out of the packaging, Ramjet still looks really good with that purple, black, and teal collar scheme. Unfortunately, jet mode barely has any other details whatsoever. I do like the Ramjet there below the cockpit, very reminiscent of G2. Plus, he's got the Decepticon logos there on the wings, but as I said earlier, they're G1 instead of G2. Lots of great molded details all the way around, just no paint applications. I do like the translucent cockpit. I know I'm not a big fan of translucent plastic, but this works. You don't see any robot junk on the inside. You see the pilot seat. So that is really cool. So all in all, not a bad looking jet, but definitely needs a little touch up. So there you go, guys. One final look at Ramjet in jet. 
at G2 Ramjet in jet mode before and after. G2 Ramjet looks 100% better now thanks to Toy Hacks. And the first decals you're probably noticing is the new decals right there on the wings. The silver and red stripes with the G2 Decepticon logo. Now, if you're not a big fan of the G2 logo, you do have the option for a G1. But this is G2 Ramjet, so he gets the G2 logo. Moving on to the front of the vehicle, you get a new black decal right there in front of the cockpit. Red, yellow, and silver decals on either side of the fuselage, along with some new black decals right there on either side. On the back, you get a black and yellow decal here. And near the end of the jet, you got jet intake decals. On the tail fins, you got DC decals, which is also a throwback to the G2 toy. So all in all, I think jet mode looks fantastic now and nowhere near as plain as it did before. So there you go, guys. G2 Ramjet in jet mode after. I really like what Toy Hacks was able to do for Generation Select's G2 Ramjet. This is one of those figures that didn't need an abundance of decals, but just the few to really enhance his details and especially bring out that Generation 2 look. I absolutely love Jet Mode. Jet Mode was really plain to begin with, but Toy Hacks just blew it out of the water, and I couldn't be happier with this set. So if you have a G2 Ramjet, do yourself a favor and pick this set up. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new videos. Also, if you're in any position to help out the channel, I offer channel memberships here on YouTube, and I have to give a huge shout out to all my current channel members because it's support like yours that helps keep this channel growing. Once again, guys, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hooah!